thanks for tuning in to Red Belt Radio. The following episode is scheduled for one fall. I'm Jason, and this show is dedicated to world wonder ring stardom. Today, I'm covering my top five moments that should make up Tam Nakano's comeback in 2024. In other words, this is what I think stardom should do with Tam Nakano for a big portion of the year. As you probably know, Cosmic Angels leader Tam Nakano has not competed in stardom since October of 2023 and due to a knee injury was forced to vacate the World of Stardom Championship, also known as the Red Belt. We received some good news this month when we learned that Tam's in-ring return will be happening ahead of schedule. Nakano is currently booked to return for a tag team match against her former Cosmic Angels subordinates Mina Shirakawa and Waka Skiyama at Stardom Supreme Fight on February 4th. But this will only be the beginning for the top kawaii of the cosmos. And today I'm sharing my thoughts on where the 2024 Tam Road should take us. If you find these transmissions valuable, please give this a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. This top 5 list is in no particular order, and if you stick around until the end of this transmission, I will also be sharing an honorable mention as a bonus. Let's get into this list, the top 5 Tam Nakano moments that stardom should develop in 2024. Again, in no particular order. 1. Tam Nakano vs. Salary Ano in the 5 Star GP. There's no guarantee that White Belt Champion Salary Ano will be participating in this year's Grand Prix, but stardom would be foolish not to incorporate her. Think about everyone Salary faced in last year's Blue Block. And now, imagine what the champ could pull off against the wrestlers that made up last year's red block. Mayu Iwatani, Saya Kamitani, Suzu Suzuki, and Shuri, to name a few. It has already been telegraphed that Ano might be destined to battle Natsupoi for the White Belt Prize, which we will be talking more about later. And a dramatic epilogue to that story could absolutely be taking place in the next five star. Because they are faction mates, Tam and Sauri are only able to face each other under a couple of circumstances, and the five star GP might make for the most brilliant stage of all, preferably on either the opening or closing night of the tournament. Two. Tam Nakano's rivalry with Stardom's new faction. There is a long list of things that Tam Nakano excels at, and something on that list is faction relevance and faction drama. With the disillusion of DDM in early January, Tam is in need of a new squad of rivals. Enter Stardom's new 2024 faction, presumably under the leadership of Micah, and featuring the help of Mina Shirakawa, Waka Skiyama, Zena returning from Australia, and Hanako. The best way to generate interest in this faction's first steps is to generate a faction-centered storyline, and the absolute best person to handle such a storyline is Tam Nakano. Tam could butter a slice of bread and somehow with a tear in her eye, conjure up a high-stakes, emotional bread feud that we would never forget. And with these two factions, we have some strong dynamics in place. It's a good mix of pre-existing history alongside very fresh, untouched matchups. Let's hope it happens soon. 3. Tam Nakano's Schooling of the Rookies one of the roles that Nakano tends to play is that of a mentor. She has made meaningful appearances on shows like New Blood, and when placed across rookie wrestlers, she seems to find a way to elevate the significance of their journeys. 
it's not uncommon for very new fighters in stardom to shy away from aspects of mic performance and involved promos. Emotion tends to come sometime after many of the in-ring technical developments. This is where Nakano swoops in to pick up the slack. She creates the context and the significance of a rookie's struggle before, during, and after beating the crap out of them. Tam gets us to care about these rookies even more than we already do. And in that sense, everybody wins. 4. Tam Nakano entering the white belt picture. I think I can hear a lot of people screaming right now. Nakano's hostile takeover of the white belts last year probably still leaves a sour taste in the mouths of many stardom fans. But don't worry, I'm not suggesting that Nakano should win or even necessarily challenge for the white belt. With that being said, it's fair to say that stardom has foreshadowed a showdown between current champion Saori Ano and her close teammate Natsupoi. If these two want to, they could turn this showdown into the story of the year for 2024, I have no doubt. But there's no way to have this battle without Tam Nakano somehow being involved. She can't turn a blind eye to this, and seeing what this contest means to her, seeing if she takes a side, seeing if her friends fighting again breaks her heart, seeing what the ramifications are for her faction, it just presents so many opportunities for us to be absolutely captivated. 5. Tam Nakano guiding Yuna Mizumori to the Artist of Stardom Championship. I don't have a ton to say about this one other than Tam has been involved with a lot of different belts over the past year and a half, and so I'm not necessarily in a rush to see her jump right back into a red belt title reign, or even a goddess title reign. What I'd really like to see, in terms of championships, is for her to build up Yuna Mizumori and find a way to get a belt around that woman's waist. Yuna is someone who might not have a lot of openings or opportunities to rise up, but at the same time, I really don't want her to have a full year of weak showings. The artist belts, or any belt for that matter, would mean a lot to Yuna. And I think it's a nice place for Tam to occupy at some point in the year while we allow others to craft their own legacies with the main event belts. Now, for my honorable mention, Tam Nakano having one final battle with Julia. I'm leaving this as an honorable mention because I'm not sure this really needs to happen. These two women headlined the biggest show in stardom history, and they put on a hell of a show in doing that. There's not realistically a way for them to top that with the limited time they have left. Julia is leaving, and she has a number of people she can still face as a part of her send-off. Tam versus Julia does not need to happen again. But if the two have something they can do with it, then let's see what they've got. Please let me know if you think I've overlooked something here. What do you think Tam should do this year as part of her comeback? Are you ready to follow the Tam Road in 2024? Do you believe? If you found this transmission valuable, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. Thanks for listening to Red Belt Radio.